Some breaking news now and an inquest jury has concluded that Usman Khan, the terrorist who murdered two people before being shot dead by police on London Bridge, was lawfully killed. Let's speak to our crime correspondent Martin Brunt, who's in central London for us. Martin, what more can you tell us? Yes, a verdict of lawful killing, which really wasn't in any doubt. Um, it was a verdict the coroner had told jurors um, was the only verdict uh, that they could bring. Uh, he directed them, in fact, um, rather spoon-fed it to them before lunch when he sent them out to start their deliberations. So it was hardly an arduous task for them. He said the only verdict they could arrive at was lawful killing. Um, and he said that was really based on the testimony during this inquest from the officers who had, well, six of them, who had fired 20 shots at Usman Khan, who had all, in their evidence, uh, made it clear that they were concerned for their own safety and the safety of other people on London Bridge um, at the time, um, shortly after Usman Khan had stabbed to death two people inside Fishmongers Hall at that prison education uh, conference and injured three others. So the verdict was one thing, delivered uh, in the last few minutes. The coroner also asked the jurors to <coughs> write what he described as a narrative. Uh, he said it doesn't have to be long, uh, one or two paragraphs, um, just the sort of means, uh, the means and circumstances of Usman Khan's death. And they did that. Um, and uh, they described the fake suicide belt that Khan was found to be wearing uh, after he died. But at the time, uh, all those officers who gave evidence said that they were convinced was a real uh, explosive device. The jurors described that as very realistic, so accepting the evidence of the officers. Um, the jurors in this narrative also talked about the officer who fired the first two shots at Khan, um, and they said that that was done to incapacitate him and to reduce the risk to the public. Uh, also in the narrative, uh, the jurors have said that uh, police interpreted later Usman Khan's attempts, having been shot twice, attempts to sit up as a move to detonate the device, which at that stage everybody still thought uh, was a viable explosive device, device. So it would appear from that narrative that the jurors have accepted uh, in total the evidence of the various police officers who gave evidence during the hearing.